Good morning, you guys. Um, don't mind my appearance. <laughs> it's very early. Um, so I just woke up. Sorry, I look a mess. Um, but I'm really excited because <sighs> I thought this day would never come. <laughs> we are officially starting our deployment homecoming vlog. That's so exciting to say. So <clears throat> this morning at like 4 a.m. I got the text that Nick was starting like the first leg of his journey kind of. Um, <clears throat> it's going to be a little bit hard because I can't share exact like locations and times and dates and stuff with you. Um, just out of safety and security, that kind of thing. And you guys will be seeing this not in real time, basically. Um, but he has started the first leg of his trip. It's very short. It's not anything huge, but it's a step in the right direction. It's a step closer to home. Um, so this morning, I got another text that he landed safely um, in his first destination. Um, so from there, it can take a few days, a week, we don't really know. Fingers crossed, it's just like a few days. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just so excited. Um, so yeah, we'll see. I don't know um, kind of what the plan is going forward. At this point, we just kind of sit and wait. It's just crazy, it's so crazy. I've been waiting nine months for this. Like, oh my God. The anticipation is killing me and he's not even like that close yet. And it's difficult with the cell phone reception and stuff and him being not in the United States um, so we're gonna try and communicate as much as possible so that way everything goes pretty smoothly but I think I know where I'm supposed to get him I think I think I know everything that's happening I've been trying to keep up um, so hopefully we will be able to get him soon hopefully he'll be here really soon um, this is gonna work a little bit differently and I don't really know how much I'm gonna like I'm allowed to say I guess um, oh, this camera's heavy this morning so with everything going on in the world right now with the coronavirus and just the absolute chaos they have canceled all homecoming ceremonies so we are not gonna be able to have that kind of special moment which I'm bummed about um, but I mean I am still gonna be like reunited with him and it is gonna be special don't get me wrong um, we're just not gonna have a formal homecoming ceremony like a lot of people see or is like pretty typical for deployments um, they've all been canceled and then when he does get here he is going to have to be quarantined in the house for 14 days um, he cannot go anywhere um, so gonna be a good time um I'm I'm like nervous it's gonna be kind of baptism by fire like we haven't seen each other in nine months well I mean we FaceTimed and stuff we haven't been together together oh that's him um we haven't been together together in nine months and now we're gonna spend two weeks straight together um could be good <laughs> but yeah I'm just really excited to finally get this vlog started I've kind of had an idea that I wanted to vlog this for a while um, I just didn't know if it would be possible and I just I don't I don't know what this vlog is gonna look like because there's a lot of uncertainty right now yeah uh, we'll just we'll take it day by day um, like I said step one is complete um, there's about 400 other steps <laughs> Um, this is not an easy, easy like hop on the plane and come home kind of thing. This is definitely a process. Um, so we're just going to be patient and I will keep you guys updated. Hey guys. Um, so <laughs> no news yet. <laughs> um, I'm getting so freaking anxious. Like, oh, trying to keep myself like, what the heck? Why did that just like totally uncurl? Um, I'm trying to keep myself like busy and keep my mind off of things, but it's proving to be a little bit more difficult than I thought. Um, I have lots I can be doing around the house. That is not the issue, trust me. Um, I have so much to do to prepare 
and I have to clean and like just do a lot to get ready. I just, I don't want to do any of it. I just want him to be here. <laughs> oh, I know I'm being like so annoying now because it's literally just a few days and in the grand scheme of things with like how long we've been apart, like it's really not that long at all. But it literally feels like days are going by like so freaking slow right now. Like days are weeks to me right now and I can't even imagine what it's gonna be like day of um, it's gonna feel like forever because it's gonna take a while for me to actually be able to like see him when he lands he has to go through a bunch of things so I'm not actually going to see him right away as soon as he touches down it's probably gonna be like a four 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 hour process four freaking hours it's so long i i can't even explain how i feel because i am in a very i don't want to say emotional person because i'm not super emotional like i don't let things rattle me on the outside on the inside i'm screaming 24 7 having meltdowns religiously like on the inside but on the outside, I always try and appear like very chill and like calm and cool and collected. But I am just such a ball of emotions. Like, I feel just like I don't have control over how I feel lately and it's driving me insane. It's anxious, like, I'm, I'm just like standing still like time is so slow right now and it's making me I'm like anxious in the sense that I'm like always checking the clock and I know I shouldn't wish my time away or anything but I'm just having such a hard time not freaking out right now <laughs> um it's just I, if you've ever been through it you you know what I'm talking about it's very very difficult to describe and like the average person isn't gonna totally understand I sound like a psychopath I know that um but it's it's a really interesting process and it's very trying on like you mentally and emotionally. Um, the whole nine months has been trying, um, but this last like week or so, like, wow, it's really been like a lot because it's the up and down of the time changing, the different flights changing, like different dynamics, everything. Like, it's just like so, like you're so high and you're so low and then you're so high again and then you're so low again and it's like exhausting. And I'm just ready to be done. I'm ready to be done with it. Um, I will never stop worrying about him. I will never stop being concerned for him, whether he's two feet away or, 2,000 miles away like it doesn't matter I'm always gonna be worried about him and he is always gonna be a concern of mine but I'm ready to just like have that sense of relief I know it's gonna be such a huge relief when he's here um, because you know things can always happen um, so I'm not taking a deep breath until he's like physically in our house probably um and like i said if you've been through this before you definitely know what i'm talking about um it's just it's such a weird time i like can't even describe it i don't even like i'm so freaking ready to be done with all of this like i'm trying so hard to keep myself busy because like i said there's so many things i need to do like laundry and film videos and stuff that's why my hair is done i'm gonna go film a video but i find that no what no matter what i'm doing i'm like rushing through it um which is not great because there's no reason to rush like he gets here when he gets here you know what i mean like me speeding through things isn't gonna make him come home faster. It's actually gonna make it a little bit slower. Um, but I'm trying to keep myself really busy. I have a lot to do. It's just, dude, it sucks. I've never really spoken about this whole deployment thing or my feelings on it. Um, I have purposely tried to keep my mouth shut because I am very much a tough love, like cry on the inside kind of gal. Um, I don't do complaining. I don't like no. Um, and I also 
being in the situation that we were, I am also very conscientious not to complain or talk about things because someone out there has it worse and that person is listening and probably feeling terrible right now listening to you complain about like the minuscule things in your life. I'm not saying don't vent or like, you know, of course I vent and stuff, but you know, I have friends that complain to me about like their husband's going to the field for like two weeks or like a month or whatever and like, yeah, it sucks. But like, I haven't seen my husband in nine months. <laughs> so it's very hard to be sympathetic. But you know, that's why I've always kind of kept my mouth shut. Also, I'm not one to gripe or anything like that. I've encountered a bajillion and one challenges during this time. I cannot even begin to describe to you all the chaos and the craziness and the amount of things that have just gone wrong and just absolute insanity that I've had to deal with on my own. Um, the frustrations, I've had many, many meltdowns, panic attacks, just crying, angry, sad, like worry like just so many emotions but like i've never shared that because i don't i don't know people are like why don't you because i'm sure a lot can relate to it but at the same time like this is also my experience this is our reality i know there's people out there that have it 10 times worse than we do so i really try not to complain or make it seem like what we're going through is the end of the world um that being said do not be fooled it is shitty it sucks you have to be a certain kind of person to be able to deal with all of this um not just anybody can and not just anybody will or want to um so you know it is what it is this is the nature of our lives um we've dealt with a lot of ups and downs um and we have a lot of ups and downs coming our way still this is this is by no means the end we still have a lot of obstacles um, we still have not gotten married. That is going to be the next item on the list that we need to check off. Um, so we, we have a lot of things deal that we need to deal with still a lot of things coming. Like this is not the end. This is not, it's not going to be like paradise. Once he gets home, life still happens. Um, but the good part is that I won't have to do it for myself anymore. So that's really cool. Yeah. I just kind of wanted to like check in with you guys and tell you how I'm feeling because I've, never really opened up or shared, I guess. Um, and I feel really weird talking to a camera about like, I don't know. But I just want you guys to know if you do have any questions, um, if you find yourself in a similar situation or if you need somebody to talk to or you think you're gonna be in a similar situation, you just have questions about life in the military. Um, a lot of you don't know this. I do have experience with this lifestyle because I'm married into it, um, but I have lived this for my entire life. My dad was actually in the military. I'm an army brat. Um, so it's I've seen it from two perspectives, two very, very different perspectives, being the child of somebody and then being the spouse of somebody. So if anybody has questions or anything like that, I like am more than happy to answer them or help people i've gotten so many dms on instagram and stuff um of people just like asking me questions and also always like being very supportive and like always coming with well wishes and from a kind place it, it's really really sweet um so yeah takes a village people so don't feel like you have to do it on your own you're not by yourself i think that's that's pretty much all i got that's as deep as i'm gonna get i have plenty more to say on the topic but i think I think that's enough. <laughs> So I did go grocery shopping just to prepare. Um, hello, yes, yes. Okay, you gotta get down. Um, so I just got a bunch of like stuff that he would like and beer, lots of beer. Can you get off my groceries? There's eggs somewhere in there. No, I don't need your help. Get out of here. Um, so I basically just bought a bunch of stuff that he would like in addition to like healthy stuff that we normally eat. Um, I just need to put all of this away now. Like this is crazy for two people. Like it's crazy how much our grocery bill is gonna go up now that we're adding another person back into the family. So this is what we're working with. We got a nice full fridge. I got us some seltzer 
Peters. He is obsessed with Bang, so I got him Bang. I got some proteins for myself. Um, just some like easy lunch stuff. I got avocado, yogurt, cheese. We are fully stocked up on drinks. Here's all of our fruit and veggies, strawberries, lemons, limes. And then in here we just have like deli meat and stuff. So this looks pretty good, pretty nice and organized. I'm happy with it. And then of course I did have to stock up on all of our freezer stuff. Um, just a disclaimer, we eat very, very healthy. This is not the norm. Like, dino chicken nuggets? No. But this is stuff that I know he likes, like wings and mozzarella sticks and pizza and stuff like that. This is stuff that he hasn't had. He hasn't been home in nine months, so I wanted to get him all the yummy goodies, everything that he likes. And I mean, it's freezer stuff. We don't have to eat it all right away. And it's good to have on hand anyways with the current situation of everything. It's good to have a supply just in case. Down here, I got some more snacks. We have some chips and like guac and we have queso. Got him some Takis, salt and vinegar, Pop-Tarts, some granola bars, just like all the yummy stuff that he hasn't been able to have. I just, I just wanna have like a variety so that way he can come home to a house full of food and cute dogs, yeah. So we are officially one day out, hopefully one day. Um, if everything goes according to plan, should be arriving tomorrow. I'm super excited, so I just have been cleaning. I got the vacuum cleaner out here. I was cleaning up the kitchen, getting the living room all straightened up and everything. Got the dogs doing some brain games while I'm cleaning to keep them occupied since we haven't really been able to go anywhere. Come on, you got it, come on. Come on, Bubba, look. Marsh, look, look. He's not really understanding that one. And then Bindi over here, show, come on, let's see what you got. She has the tornado. Come here, look, look, here, look. There, you gotta move it. <laughs> and then I have all of these packages here that I wanna open up because these are all the board games and stuff that I ordered for Nick. So we can keep ourselves occupied while he's on this 14 day quarantine. guys so here's a little update oh are you excited um a little update on what i did this afternoon um i know this looks super ghetto but it's all i got during a global pandemic we're gonna make the best of it you know we're in quarantine so this is pretty much as good as it's gonna get i just thought it was cute we have a place to like take some nice pictures i got some bandanas for the dogs and stuff um, so it's like right when you walk in in our entrance. I don't know. I just thought it was a nicer background to take photos in. I don't know. I feel it's super cheesy. I know, but I really wanted to do something and I just, I don't know. All I could do is go to the dollar store and it was the bare minimum. So this is kind of what we're working with. Um, I definitely could have done better and I feel bad about that but I'm gonna make some more posters and stuff and I mean he's not even gonna care he's just gonna be happy to be home but I wanted to do something nice um so yeah that's our ghetto photo wall and I have two more balloons back there that I'm actually gonna put out in front of our house but I'm not gonna show you guys that because security good morning you guys it is 6 56 7 a.m um i'm exhausted i like didn't sleep at all i'm not gonna lie and i was tossing and turning so i just ended up getting up i was gonna try and sleep a little bit longer because i have so much time now um he's coming a little bit later than we initially thought so i need to keep myself busy for another few hours like a lot of hours <laughs> um but I just got out of bed because I was like, I might as well be productive if I can't sleep anymore. 
um but i don't really know what to do with myself <laughs> but yeah i just wanted to check in with you guys it is officially day of oh i keep calling in like every few hours to make sure that everything's still on schedule that he's still coming everything's okay knock on wood fingers crossed um it's just I'm so anxious. I'm so freaking anxious. I'm gonna try and eat some breakfast. My stomach hurts. I'm like nervous. Um, and when I get nervous, I get stomach aches. <laughs> um, but uh, the kitchen is clean. Everything's like done. Um, so yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna try and eat some breakfast and then I'll probably get ready take a shower oh i do need to finish changing the sheets on the beds and stuff um, but those are in the dryer right now so i'm just waiting are you excuse me do you have to play right here they're crazy too they i think they know something's something something's a brewing something's happening um but yeah i'm just gonna try and keep myself busy for the next few hours and then i guess i will go get ready oh i don't know maybe i'll take a nap <laughs> Show how handsome you are. Say so we got our toes clipped and we got pretty bandanas. I couldn't find any like red, white, and blue fabric. Um but I had this, which was an old tablecloth that's like navy and white. Um, it's actually from like a Penn State party that we had. Um, so it's good enough. Right, baby girl? It's good enough. All right, you guys. So I just, woo, a break. I just went ahead and, oh my God, I'm so out of breath. I went ahead and got ready um, because I got a call. Hey, hey because I got a call that his flight landed early. Ah! Although he did just land, we still have a few hours. They have to like process and like drop equipment and whatever. Um, so I just went ahead and got ready. I'm gonna do some last minute things. I need to like take out the trash really quick and that kind of stuff because it's garbage day here. Um, don't mind my sheets. I have to make my bed still. Um, everything's clean, but I haven't gotten that far. Um, but I thought I would show you guys my outfit. Well, this is my makeup. I just did like a really simple wing. Nothing too crazy or over the top. And I just curled my hair a little bit. Um, it looks a little crazy. Um, it needs to it needs to fall still, um, but it will. Um, so let me show you my outfit. I just wanted to wear something like fun and really comfy and it's a really beautiful day outside so I wanted to wear something like spring so this just has like white and whatever flowers um, and it's actually like a tie here and it has and it has like cute cinched sleeves like that so just like a little peasant top and then some skinny jeans cuffed um, with some white booties this is actually the first time that I'm wearing these nothing too exciting um, jeans are Levi's Boots, I don't know what brand they are, but I got them from Anthropology. And then my top is Free People. If you know me, you know I'm absolutely obsessed with anything Free People. And then I just have some silver hoops in. Um, no crazy jewelry, I gotta put my rings on still. All right, I'm here, I'm waiting in the parking lot. I hope I'm in the right spot. I don't know, there's a lot of people walking around. Um, We'll see. I don't really know where they're coming in, but he should be here any minute. Come here. Mindy, who come is here. it? Come here. 
I told you she wouldn't bark at you. Did you miss me? Come here. Come here. Oh, hi, buddy. Hi, buddy. Biddy, come. Come here. Come here. Oh. Oh my God. Did you miss me? Did you miss me? Oh. Are you comfortable, Marshall? I think he's broken. Look at all these lazy dogs. Oh boy. Hubba you sweet boy. What is up you guys? So it is currently a few days later after all of the excitement, right? There's so much excitement. <laughs> um, so I just wanted to kind of close this out and explain a little bit. Um, so this didn't go quite like I anticipated. Um, I unfortunately was not able to capture our like initial reunion. Um, they were super strict about social distancing and the guys were not allowed to take or post photos um, of them being close to somebody or touching somebody. So unfortunately we couldn't get any photos together and I couldn't film and post like our initial hug and that kind of thing. Um, so that's why you're not gonna see that unfortunately um but i'm actually not that mad about it because it was a really special moment it was a really nice reunion i'm just so happy and so thankful um but unfortunately that's why that that like important chunk of the entire thing is missing um because of this virus madness and everything we just i couldn't um but you did get to see the dogs reunion um with him which is so sweet um, and then I think I just have a few other random clips of us being at home together and hanging out and just Living life together again. It's so fun. And you know, it's like shocking. I thought um, It would be a little different but truthfully it's Like nothing happened like just picking up right where we left off um, So if you guys are interested in me going into more detail or doing like a recap video or giving you my experiences or advice whatever you want to do a Q&A um, let me know that's something I can definitely do but for now we're just enjoying our time together it's very nice not to be lonely all the time um, and it's just it's awesome like you literally just have like a built-in best friend again and it's so nice I never have to do anything by myself um, but we are still very good about maintaining our distance and not like <laughs> being clingy or like over overbearing because we are still adjusting to being together i'm used to being here in this huge house by myself for nine months and he's used to working non-stop 24 7 so he's learning how to relax and i'm learning how to not have alone time 24 7 but everything is amazing we're very very happy um thank you all for the love and support it's been so great so kind um and we're just like I said, just so freaking happy.